So in an earlier micro nugget, I demonstrated a utility called Start 8 in order to bring back your classic start menu inside of Windows 8.1. A couple of our viewers said, Anthony, you should also show Classic Shell. After all, Classic Shell is donationware. That's right, if you love it, you can donate to the author, but it is free of charge. Let's take a look at Classic Shell in this micro nugget. So right now on this Windows 8.1 tablet, you can see that I am currently running the Start 8 application. And that Start 8 application gives us this beautiful Windows 7 style start menu. Awesome. Let's go ahead and uninstall Start 8. By the way, I'm still in the 30 day evaluation period. And let's go ahead and take a look at Classic Shell in its place. This is actually kind of cool because one thing I wanted to see was how easily and how seamlessly things will go back to normal when we uninstall these utilities. After all, Windows, Microsoft themselves, will be replacing the Start menu themselves soon, the classic Start button. So we're probably going to want to take advantage of that once it does arrive. So let me head into Control Panel and let me go to Programs and Features. In Programs and Features, we're going to find Start 8. There it is, Stardock Start 8, and we are going to choose the Uninstall option. And wow, that was quick. <laughs> yeah, and, f and I say that because I'm looking down at the Start Menu area. It says we need to reboot in order to complete the uninstallation. That's fine, I'll do it later. Let me go ahead and show you the result of this uninstall. So look what is back in the lower left corner of my desktop. You got it. It's the button that's going to bring me to the live tiles interface. By the way, if we wanted to, we could always change that button so that it brings us to the list of programs, which would look like this. But a lot of us can't stand this either. So let's go ahead. I'll reboot this system and then we'll take a look at Classic Shell. Okay, so here we are back, and I have done a Google search for Classic Shell, and notice there is ClassicShell.net, and we'll go ahead and download, and notice there is the Download Classic Shell Installer English. Uh, we're currently, as of the time of this micro nugget, at 4.1.0 of Classic Shell. Uh, that download occurred quickly. Let me go ahead and open that to initiate the installation. I'll, of course, shut down the browser. We don't want any issues with running applications while we do this. There's Classic Explorer, Classic Start Menu, Classic IE, and Classic Shell Update. So lots of goodies for us to participate in here. And that's the installation. Pretty easy. We won't read the README right now, although I'll go back and do that at a later time. We'll go ahead and finish. And I believe what happens next is we will see a configuration option for Classic Shell, just like we had with Start 8. So we can pick the particulars of the Classic Shell application. Now, it's pretty funny. This doesn't start right away. You notice we're waiting for it. It never popped up. You go down and you click your original Windows 8 Start button, and then you get this Settings menu. So you do initiate this coming up by clicking on, ironically enough, your old Windows 8.1 start charm or whatever it would be called in the lower left corner. It's obviously not our start button prompting this particular video. So notice here, very similar, lots of great settings just like our start 8 application. I'm going to say I want the Windows 7 style. And I want my start button replaced. Absolutely. Notice there's advanced options that we could explore. I will say OK. And let's check out the result. So here we can see our new user interface in the Windows 8.1 environment. This cute little shell, classic shell start icon. I'm going to select it. And there is a beautiful Windows 7 style start menu, compliments of Classic Shell. In fact, I'm going to head over right now to the author of this particular application and make a donation. I, of course, encourage you to do that as well. I sure hope this micro nugget was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.